Hey guys, just letting you know, I totally forgot to do an intro for this portion of the video, and just as a reminder where we're at here, I just got done talking to you about Copperhead, the flare side that we picked up just a little while ago, and the brown Bronco that we we're working on. I'm right now walking back into the shop to go tie in with Adam so that we can finish up working on this 1977 Silver F-150, all right? So let's get stuck into it. All right. This is the plugs, huh? Yeah, they were solid black. Were they? Yeah, and they, they weren't depth right either. All right. So I wire brushed them up with the brass brush. Nice. Sprayed them out with brake clean, gapping them. Hell yeah. Oh, we just got AC and heater in the shop too. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty happy about that one, so. Yeah, you notice where I'm standing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, see here, right now, it is a comfortable 68 degrees in here. Actually, probably could turn that up a little bit. We don't need to be blowing it out. The freaking water works and everything like that. So, but yeah, 72. How many of you guys got AC in your shop, man? I mean, me having this shop, this has been a freaking honest, like, life goal already. And then throwing AC on top of it, I'm freaking just loving it. What do you want? What's that? So, do you want anything? Uh, compression tester. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so the points are off? Way off. All right. So we were about ready to run down to Napa and go get new spark plugs. And Adam pulled the cap here, checked the points, and they are significantly off. We've got another uh, crew cap we've got to go look at too, so. back on yeah. all right let's let's hope this one this is I'm hoping I'm I'm positive I'm positive hi I feel this one's gonna be good I feel like it's gonna be good it's gotta be good all right let's do it Sound like we got a. Uh, I gotta put a spark plug. Well, I'm about to say, man. It's like, wow, we got a really bad exhaust leak going on. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to do that on purpose. <laughs> it's like, man, it didn't sound that poppy before. Okay. What the heck? Oh, oh, huh? Hello? What do you think? I think it still could use plugs. All 
All right, so right now, after messing around with it, we're still gonna do new plugs on it. Pretty sure that this carburetor's just freaking junk right now. It needs to be rebuilt real bad. So, and yeah. what? Bad fuel like a mother. All right, so fuel's not great. So we've got a lot of things fighting against us. We got all this straightened out. Let the shop here, you know, blow out a little bit, but we got a crew cab that we got to go check out. So we're going to go get on the road, pick up some parts and get back there and get after it. All right. So this is what we're looking at. Crew cab. Huh. F-350 custom. And it looks like it's a 78 or 79. Body doesn't look too bad. Used to have different mirrors on it. Front door's gonna be changed out. A little dent in that rear door ain't too bad. This door's locked. Oh shoot, it's a four speed truck. Heck yeah. Snap. Oh, it's got the freaking dealer install AC in it. She ain't too bad. And this is a working truck. Headliner still in it. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Yeah, see there's the AC. I wonder if the AC works on it. More than likely not. Finding one that works just that's got hose, hose clamps on it. They might have turned it into an air compressor. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Oh, it's got a hole right there. That's you got an exhaust leak. Yeah. Yeah. Right over there. Not too bad, though. Yeah, you see we see the original headliner still in it. Yeah, I did. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, we might have to pick this up. All right, so that we don't kind of die, I took this old Super Duty exhaust, <laughs> rigged it up through there, then this freaking hose, kind of pointed out the freaking shop because hey, we don't we don't live in Trail Oregon. Or <laughs> yeah, you know? we ain't it, it's a uh, yeah a little smoky in here with the exhaust. So yeah. I've got to do some research and find an actual legit system, either that brings it up through the shop roof there or something that shoot it out through the door. But it's bad. So anyways, she's running. Uh, kind of. New spark plugs. Checked all that. New fuel filter. New gas. But this carb really needs to be rebuilt. It's bad. But... She'll pull up on the trailer, no problem. All right, so just pulled in the 79 Bronco, getting it prepped so that it can go to Washington as well. And this is what we're looking at on it so far. All right, I got the battery in. Like I said, mice have got in under the dash, eating up some of the wiring harness. So Adam's just prepping it so that it will start fire and everything like that. We don't got any issues there. We'll find out what we gotta do to it, the prep and everything like that, and then move on from there, all right? All right guys, so right now we're scoping the pistons because the motor, we went to turn it over and it's locked up in this thing. So I already called the buyer, let him know, hey, this is where we're at with the block, dude. We're doing this investigation. Gotta be 100% transparent with this kind of stuff. I wouldn't wanna freaking hide any of this from anyone. And so we did run, so we did run all the pistons here on the driver's side. One, two, and three on the front. They're all good. Looked in the very back one. Number which eight. Say, 
number eight had rust in it. And then now we're looking at through these. Want me to hold it again, man? Yeah. All right. I know, trying to watch a digital screen through a digital screen is not exactly easy, so. But we're gonna look at the rest of these real quick, and see what we can find. Reaction. Okay. This motor is seized up. What? Yeah. It's better than I thought. <laughs> we just tried to turn it over and it's locked up. So why are we in I already called him. I informed Bob. So, and we're working through the situation. So He's, we have to give him... No, not yet. So Adam and I were just talking about this. And so what we're gonna do is we filled up every single piston with uh, PB Blaster because it's a foaming penetrating oil, uh, oil just have, like Marvel oil is. We have pressure on the crank with a half inch ratchet and socket, pressure on it tucked behind the air, con air conditioning pulley. All plugs are out, cylinders are all full of PB Blaster and we're just going to let it ride over the weekend and see where we're at. So we threw the scope down, every single friggin' piston. They all look clean, except for that back one. Okay. Over there, the number eight, uh, the top of the piston had rust all over it. So our best guesstimate right now is that maybe had a head gasket leak on that uh, side and guys shut it off, parked it, you know, whatever. It could have filled up water, set their part forever, freaking rusted, froze that freaking cylinder up. So, but that's where we're going right now with it. All right. <laughs> All right. Just got back from being on the road with the truck. Everything checks out to be all right with freaking, you know, how it's looking. Possibilities that we're looking at right now. We're going to end up pulling that motor out of the... Why am I keep on doing this? I'm sorry. I'm covering up the screen. So what we're going to be doing that we're talking about right now, and I'm going to run this off uh, our New York uh, buyer and everything like that. We might pull the motor out of that and then sit this a runner, throw it into the Bronco so we don't have to worry about any type of headaches there or anything like that. Keep him happy. And then we'll take this motor out and um, go ahead. It's the same motor. It's the same 400. We'll end up stroking it, you know, put a hot cam in it and make the, uh, the orange truck there just a freaking real peppy hot truck, you know, real awesome. Kind of looks the part and acts the part. So. But for us right now, it's Friday. We're just gonna freaking cut out for the rest of the day, man. It's hot outside. Freaking go and enjoy our weekend. We'll talk to y'all later. Get out there on your projects. Let me know what's going on. Have a good one.